G'day folks, it's DIY Guy123 here. Today we're going to talk about how to repair a rotted out frame mount that connects to the body mount which connects to the body, in this case the uh, cab of a pickup truck. So I'll zoom out a little bit, there's the front end, front wheel, and here's the, uh, the first mount back, not the one at the radiator, but the first one um, behind the motor. And what happened was I had someone take a look at it for an inspection and they noticed that the rubber mount up here, which the lighting's not very good, but the rubber mount up here was actually pushing through the frame bracket. And it was very hard for me to even, even after they pointed it out to me, I really didn't even understand what it is they were trying to tell me uh, until today when I took the mount apart. So to do that, this is a 21 millimeter bolt. It's been in the truck for 13 years, so I did need to use a three foot strong bar. And uh, it did come out without any problem, but you just want to watch it. You don't break these off because then you got to extract them and it's a pain. So anyway, so the bolt came out and uh, I cleaned this whole area. And what, what's underneath the bolt is this washer. And on top of the washer is this right here. So it kind of looked like this with the bolt going up through the center of that washer. So I took the bolt, out, took these out and then I could clearly see. So you're gonna see here for a minute. I've got uh, all, all four bolts on the body mounts loose on the pasture side. There's one there. Uh, in fact, the bushing was totally gone. Uh, so I gotta deal with that. But anyway, this is the one right behind, right behind the front bumper. They call that a rad mount. There's one on each side. And then here's the one I'm working on. And then I go back in the middle of the running boards and there's another one. And here's the one in the back of the cab just before uh, the frame carries onto the box. Now that gives you a better idea. That's what it's supposed to look like. And um, so, anyway, I took all those bolts out. And in order to get the mount up, ugh, in order to get the mount up, I need to raise the, or get the mount out, I need to raise the body off of the frame. I recommend only doing this to one side at a time so you don't get your cab misaligned with your uh, bolt holes and so on. So I've just got a really, uh, inexpensive jack here sitting on top of my hoist fortunately i do have a hoist but you know you don't need a hoist to do this job and as i'm jacking it up so now you get a better view of why that mount is in such bad shape um where the rubber mount was so okay so there's the bolt out take the mount out of here and now you get a great view of how big that hole is and it's not supposed to be that big. <laughs> so, what I've done is I took a piece of plate and I think this is probably 3 16 It's not quarter inch, I don't think. Took this piece of plate. I actually took a piece of cardboard first and traced... Sorry for all the walking here. Took a piece of cardboard with a pair of scissors because it's much easier to trim that and uh you know traced how the cardboard would fit up there and then i put that cardboard on a piece of metal cut it out with the plasma cutter you could cut it with an angle grinder with a cutting wheel um, you could also use a hole saw to cut this hole out now the factory hole wasn't a circle it's got flat spots because you'll see the mount the mount needs to be oriented like this so the long part of this like the center metal part right here, that needs to be parallel with the running boards. Um, and this edge of the mount right here, and this edge of the mount right here go through a flat side in this bracket. So anyway, so I've cleaned that all, all that metal out of there. I'm probably gonna hit it with the wire wheel before I weld it, but you can see how nicely that fits up there. Now, before you just go all hog wild and weld it on, I suggest putting the mount back in place lowering the cab down and making sure you've got this hole in the right place. When I did that, I realized I had to grind out this edge of the hole. So, um, again, the rest of this is very solid. So I think I'm going to get away with just welding that in there. Okay, folks, so here I am with the new piece welded in there. Uh, it's upside down welding, which I'm not good at. And I don't even know if I'm a good welder anyway to begin with, but it won't come off. That's for sure. And I just put lots on there. Lots of other people can teach you how to weld on YouTube. Yeah. Okay, so here we are after I hit it with a little bit of rust paint and uh, dress this up a little bit. Not that it really matters because it's underneath, but still. 
nice to protect it from further corrosion. And uh, I'm gonna drop the old rubber mount back in place and uh, bolt it up.